All right, I've just applied my first coat of dap to see all my pieces here. And as you can see, I try not to use a whole lot of dap. I think um, it works really well when it's thin. So just enough to cover the surface. And I just lay all my pieces out here and it's probably like 65 to 70, kind of sunny. It's only gonna take a couple minutes for the pieces to dry a little bit. And then once they're dry, stick them together and we'll move on. There's your first two layers of your shield. And as you can see, it's really wobbly, but it'll get stronger as we go on. So now your next step here is to cut one more layer. All right, well now we've got three full layers of the shield done. And we're just gonna keep progressing like this until you've got all five layers done. And then after that, we're gonna cut the hole for the handle, Gorilla glue that into place, and then pat it up a little bit more and that'll be it. So keep progressing, just add layers as you have been while you alternate where the breaks in the foam are to make it rigid. Okay, well you can see I have all five layers of the shield done. And it is surprisingly strong. I may have overbuilt this a little bit because I don't even have the PVC in it yet. And it would probably pass a flex test for weapons check. Um, but our next step now is, I don't know how well the camera shows up, but you can see how there's some unevenness in the layers here. Um, this is where I would use a hacksaw or preferably even just a hacksaw blade. And you're just gonna run down the uneven parts and cut it off to an even layer. And you wanna make sure not to remove too much material because you gotta remember this handle is gonna go in here and it needs at least an inch or two in between the top of the shield and the top of the end cap to be sufficiently padded. And then once you've gone through and evened out all your edges, your next step is going to be in to install the handle. So the first thing you need to do is measure to the center of your shield, take your Sharpie, and trace out your handle, and make sure it's evenly placed um, top and bottom, so you have the same amount of room at the top as you have at the bottom. And you want to make this slightly smaller than the actual diameter of your piece of PVC because you need this to be a very, very tight fit. So be careful as you measure this and be careful as you cut it. And then also, this is where I would advise to use, instead of an X-Acto knife, to use a very sharp pocket knife or maybe even a kitchen knife because it's a little easier to cut through three or four layers of foam. So um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut this and then I'm gonna go show you what it looks like. Well, I have cut the hole for the shield, or for the shield core. It, I cut through two complete layers of foam, and then I've also cut out the handle, uh, the, or the hole for my hands, and I cut through four layers of foam, leaving one layer in front of my, where my hand will be. So this is the last layer of foam on the shield. And so eventually we're gonna have to put like three, maybe three more layers up here to protect against the hand, uh, where your hand is gonna be sitting. So the next step now is once you have your core that can snugly fit into the hole that you've cut, we're gonna put Gorilla Glue down there, let that sit overnight, and then pad this over so it doesn't hit you in the face. All right, now the next step is going to be to Gorilla Glue the handle into the shield. And um, I got my bottle of Gorilla Glue. I removed the nozzle because it's kind of hard to put out this much Gorilla Glue in a timely manner. I've wetted both ends of the PVC with just a little bit of water. And I've done the same to the inside of the shield. And basically all you're gonna do is uh, apply a good amount of Gorilla Glue all the way through here. Probably stop like an inch or a half inch before this opening here and here so it doesn't flow out into the center because if you've never used Gorilla Glue before, it foams quite a bit. And the water helps the Gorilla Glue um, harden faster. So. Oh my god. That was a lot of glue. And you 
should avoid getting this on yourself because if you think DAP is bad, Pro Glue is a lot worse. And unlike DAP, with Gorilla Glue, you're only going to apply it to one surface, not both. So it'll just be on the blue foam. And it's kind of hard to tell how much Gorilla Glue you need, because um, it's going to expand like five or ten times its size. So, um, I don't know, just kind of got to eyeball it and do it right. It's probably better to put too much than too little. You can always remove the excess, even though it's not very easy to do. And make sure you coat both the sides and the bottom with the glue. Then press your core. It's the hole. And then grab your handy dandy railroad track. And weigh down your core. And you probably want to let it sit for, I don't know, at least 12 to 24 hours. Well, here's what the shoot looks like after the handle has been glued in. You can see there's a lot of um, I guess extra Gorilla Glue all over the place. Um, as it foamed up I tried to kind of spread it off with glue foam before it hardened because it's a lot harder to remove now. So the next step is to remove some of this excess. You don't have to go crazy on it. Add padding to cover this so this doesn't hit you in the face. Um, add a strip down here, down here, same on the other side, a little bit on the top bottom and then one piece covering all this and I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Well here is what the shield looks like now that I've removed most of the grill glue. Uh, you can see that it's still got some up here but it's just going to be covered with foam. There's still a little bit of glue that I couldn't get off the handle so that'll kind of be annoying but it's not a big deal. And so now I've cut two identical sets of foam here. Um, two long pieces that are the width of my ruler, a little short piece, and then a bigger piece to go on top of it. And then I have the same exact set of foam copied for the bottom side. So what you're going to do is take these two shorter or smaller pieces of foam, set them right next to the, um, the core of the handle, um, this piece of foam goes up here and you're just trying to like encase the handle here then the fatter piece of foam goes on top and you could even um, as you glue these you could even glue these first and add some more Gorilla Glue in here to help strengthen your core it's probably not necessary but it helped um, and then throw this piece on top of it and so you'll do the same to the bottom side and then dap all this in place. Your next step is to cut two pieces of foam and glue them right on top of this weak point in the shield. And you know, if, if you're making a larger shield, this area is going to be much larger. But for this little punch shield, six and a half by seven, seems to be enough room for my hand. And I'm just going to place two layers of foam. You could do three. Um, you could round these out to make it look a little better. I just don't really care. So I'm just going to dap these on, and that's basically going to be it.